not. All of those just sound like they get eaten by Pikachu. Yeah, they're, they're slow or they're just too vulnerable in the air. Lucario, Speedy, has a humongous hitbox whenever their aura is charged all the way. You got this. This is definitely a Lucario matchup anyway. So Mouse Rat already has a pretty good advantage of being small. Itty Bitty will be avoiding a lot of the very first few aura spheres that they do throw out. So here we go. Yeah, but I mean, the way that we saw Mouse Rat play in the previous set against Fury, yes. you know, Mouse Rat's game plan was a lot of edge guards. Uh, so, you know, if you're letting Vivi live longer, because, I mean, Lucario is definitely going to have a better time uh, recovering than like Hero because of extreme speed. Extreme speed, especially at higher aura, such a good recovery, so difficult to uh, work around. Almost quick attack like in that sense. So, you know, Vivi's going to be making it back into center stage, living longer, getting that aura. Yeah, and what we're going to be seeing here is a difference of game plan. Pikachu is going to want to stay on the ledge, want, going to want to keep control of that one platform and that little area against the ledge. But Lucario is going to really be looking for that center uh, that center control. And also using the, the platform, similar to how, we, how they use Hero, to you know, kind of charge up aura, charge up whatever they need to, and also mm. collect some rage as well. Yep, big aura sphere. Get up off of me. No edge guards for you today right now. Quick attack doing a, quite a bit of work right now. And 118% rage on or aura right now on Vivi means that aura sphere going to be doing what we talked about before, where it's just going to be co covering so go. much space. Wasn't it, quite big enough to get the, the stock, however. Like, it doesn't matter how much you're pancaking. That aura sphere is big. There you go. Humongous aura sphere, go burr. Humongous. Big. Big gigantic. Ooh, nice, uh, nice movement there in, in the air by Vivi. You know, feigning out the timing with the down air. Oh, wow. You can't quick attack what? through that. <laughs> that quick attack usually is such a good option for Pikachu to get out of pressure, especially since it has the hitbox. Vivi not ready for the tech, but extreme speed. Gonna be making it back. Tries to bonk off the stage. Yeah, that was, yeah. Yeah, that was really good on Mouse. recognizing the timing for extreme speed and knowing, I'm sorry, when to dare and uh, keep VV away from coming back on stage, which is exactly what Mouse is looking for. Some really good edge guarding situations where you can't get back on the stage no matter what that you do. Exactly. So, you know, not a whole lot of extra credit for VV, but VV just shaking it off right now, getting a nice getting a nice little combo right now, putting Mouse Rat to 52% right now. All right, getting some nice loops. One opening for Pikachu, and he gets 45 out of it. I told just, you. Just Pikachu things. You stand still for like two seconds, and Pikachu's like, hey, 40%. <laughs> Came and catch your. Oh, I thought that was funny. Okay. Yeah, Vivi tried to down air through the platform, but. Right, okay, I, I was Pikachu the only one that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I, I thought it was the, the impact was actually Vivi's dare, but it was Pikachu being like, oh, I have yeah. energy. Extreme Ooh. speed, I'm sorry, counter not taking it over, but oh! A lot of conversion! Oh, that was nice! So good! Didn't even need that much uh, aura out of it, only 85%, and Rat died at like 90-ish pre-hit. I mean, that's just yeah, Lily, Lucario back 90. air. Yep. Lucario back air is a truck. He's got that big old spike in his hand. Aren't there spikes on his chest? Yeah, but he's got one like on, a, on the top oh, of the his top, hand. Oh, the top, the top. I thought of like the, the palm, I was like, no. wait, what? No, but it, it, it adds that extra weight, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Stabs you with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting, just running up dash attack, and VV getting a little more aura for it in the meantime. Ooh, very <laughs> sneaky extreme speed, winding around and going back towards the ledge. Master Rat not ready for it, which means VV gets another chance to play around with all of this aura. 142% right now. Now, fortunately, a lot of Mouse Rat kind of just coming in very horizontally into pop. Oh, no, my God! <gasps> How dare you use your neutral tool at me? How dare you try and take space for yourself? Do you know who I am? I'm very proud of you. That was really good. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> the passion was there. I love that. <laughs> I felt it. No, I, I, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting like an aura sphere, a beaver aura sphere or something like that. Uh, we're, com we're coming up on it right now. At 66%. Mouse Rat Dead! threw out just a How? normal neutral oh my tool gosh. from so far away. I thought that by by countering the, the, the Thundershock, I, I, or Thunderbolt, I, I thought that... 
Đi đi một câu Wow 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 I thought I didn't think Vivo was gonna go up and catch Pikachu's recovery. I thought Vivo was actually gonna go all the way to the other end of the stage. So I think actually the reason that it did work was because Vivi timed their double team such that the hitbox would be coming out right in between Mouse Rats, like the two quick attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Pikachu was frozen for that one second and was also like spaghettified outward. What stage are we on? Uh, oh, FD. Okay, went to FD, but without <laughs> FD. Got it. I was like, where the platform? <laughs> Battlefield with no platform? This is cursed imagery. Is cursed. <laughs> <Bullets>. <laughs> this is smallest battlefield. The littlest battlefield. The littlest battlefield that ever could. Itty bitty little, little battlefield. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought was going to happen. Yeah. BB going just straight horizontal and not in the air, but... Yeah, usually double team's bad. Yeah, usually this don't, that, that don't happen. So you really got to savor those moments when they do happen and you kill a Pikachu at 66%. That's really something to savor. I know they, like, agreed on FD, but it'd be really funny if they accidentally chose Omega for Smart right? Battlefield. Right? It'd be really funny if that happened. All right, either way, BB having a lot of aura. We got you know, aura sort charging up really nicely, uh, enough to enough so that Master I cannot escape oh. it. Yeah, BB going for these hard reads out of the aura nice. sphere pressure, but that aura sphere just eating through the T jolt again. Stop trying to use your Ooh. neutral tools. Great patience from Master and really, really good exchange speed away from where Master was definitely trying to dare and interrupt uh, BB's recovery. All right, let's see. Mouse Rack gets another chance right now. Vivi just kind of going right back to ledge, eating through the T-Jolt again. Mouse Rat really has to find this kill. This kill will Goodbye. absolutely yep. set the pace of this game, and that means Vivi now gets to play with Aura for extra credit. A lot of credit rate. Two hits, and we're already 23% from Big Aura and Little Aura, so... Up throw, Mouse not going to be doing... Yeah, no, no Mouse rage. Rat just has to get a really hard read on BB, likely on like the off the stage where BB's trying to recover with extreme speed. But we did, we saw earlier basically in game one as what Mouse Rat might be needing right now because we are constantly seeing these dash attacks and these uh, these dash ins it, completely horizontally into these Aura Spheres. I think BB has only hit Mouse Rat with Aura Sphere this entire stock. I agree! <laughs> They're playing <laughs> the right game! It. This is the way you play. And it's funny just because, you know, even with no even with no platforms to speak of, Vivi is still covering all of the space with the Aura Sphere. But finally, Mouse Rat able to get Vivi's first stock, keeping the Aura off of the table, but 91% in extra credit. And this is not where Mouse Rat wants to be whatsoever. We have Vivi with a little bit of rage. Now we're going in with a little more hard-hitting uh, moves up close. However, it's just Mouse Rat really has to be care oh wow, okay. Mouse Rat just has to be really careful coming in too close or actually too horizontally against BB because as we saw earlier, B was just throwing out aura spheres as they should. And a back air and like barely any aura on the table. That back air still so strong. That's Mouse Rat's second stock gone. Now potentially on his winner's side stock. But if Mouse Rat is able to potentially close out an edge guard, but unfortunately drops it. I think that they they, they, they turn around and, uh, and down to it, I believe. So I think they're expecting Vivi to roll through at some point. Which just didn't get the re they were looking for. Yep. And now the aura is back on deck. These aura spheres are starting to get larger. Which means that and Mouse stronger. Rat's neutral... Mouse Rat's neutral is just starting to crumble at the the sight of these. All right, up air does catch Vivi's B-reverse movement, but getting put off stage again right now, you have to find your way back in against all of these Aura Spheres. <laughs> Little tray right there is cute. Charging up Aura Sphere, and Vivi's kind of looking a little bit dangerous right now. Getting up on percentage is great. However, once Mouse Rat gets that... Oh, you're, you're dead. dead! You're dead! Yeah. Oh! <laughs> You're dead. Right into Vivi's loving arms, the Skull Bash game. Like I said, now sorry, it is time to stop approaching horizontally. <laughs> <laughs> that was just straight gliding yeah. into the four. Yeah, are gone. Yeah, goodbye. Just express hello. delivery. Oh, hello. Goodbye, winners. How's it going? Ah! Out of here. Gone. <laughs>
I love that baby just did that. That was really funny. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that really worked. But yeah. I, I was just like. That was a fun set. That was really funny. That was goofy. I like watching like Pokemon battles. Pokemon battles? Because they're so funny. They didn't.